Hi guys, it's me. So I want to share with you some, a quick tip kind of, but we're also going to make an art journal page. But I just want to share with you, sometimes we search all over the internet for images or ephemera, and really you can probably get a lot of ephemera and a lot of images um, for free that you can use in your art journal. So here I just have a stack of stuff that I got completely free. Just um, brochures and magazines and stuff that you can find at the grocery store, at the library for free or in coffee shops or anything like that. So I'm gonna kind of share through and just kind of maybe open your mind a little bit um, to really use things that you have access to in your journal. And then we're actually gonna make a page together with some of this stuff. So this I got from a coffee shop that I went to um, and it has little like, images of coffee so I thought that would be really cool plus um, it has like the art the tone so I could cut that out and use that for something um, sips maybe maybe I'll have you know an art journal page or something I'm um, well need sips and this was given to me for free so very very simple very easy thing um, that you can get when you go to a coffee shop, see if they have a menu or something that you can take with you. Another thing is newspapers. Um, this is just a local newspaper in Colorado that we get. Um, but I really love this image. And there was a lot of different images too. Plus it has a lot of words too. So I could use this totally free. Cut it out. Fussy cut it. It's really cool and it's really, really simple to use. Right? And this is even cool on the front. This is the main magazine. So very, very cool. Um, this I got from my library and every month they have like a subject that they want kids to learn about so they make these cute little these cute little like packets so there's a ton of stuff that I can use in my journal first this is such a beautiful page very beautiful writing and then it has these little images of the queen the worker and the, and all that stuff so you can cut them out and use them in your journal plus if you wanted to you could add like a bee's life or something like that that'd be fun and then these are really cool so they have these really cool shapes that i could cut out and use in my journal plus some of them have images in them so that'd be fun to use and again i could just cut that part off and add that to a background i could use the flower or the bee very cool and there's more stuff here too so be positive busy bees what's the buzz about so I could cut those out and those might be good titles for my page plus there's some images down here too so really fun and then this is really cool it talks about um, how we can save bees with planting these type of plants so really fun images that I could definitely use in my journal so I could fussy cut those out and use them and again everything was free I mean this thing is packed with stuff that I can use. I could color this and maybe cut it out or use it as a background and paint over it. Um, I could maybe cut out the words from here and make a really cool background. So there's a tons of things that I can do. There's bees. You know, like maybe I couldn't use this for anything, but maybe I could cut that out. And there's a picture of a bee. And all this kind of stuff. So these are totally free at the library. So the library is a great place for stuff like this, by the way. And speaking of the library, I got this at the library too. So this is Aurora Creates and it talks a little bit about history and about things that are attractions that are coming to Aurora. So, um, I mean, I could cut out this bird and use him on an art journal page. Um, it's really a beautiful page. I could cut this out or the house out. Really fun, but they always have beautiful art on these free like magazines that give you information on stuff that's happening in the world. And if we open the page, there's more of their art. Um, there's a woman in a beautiful dress. I could use that maybe. I really like her face. I could use her for something. That's kind of cool. Maybe I could cut out the ballerina. Radio days. Maybe I could cut that out and use it for something. I kind of like the clock. It's kind of small, but it's great. And then I could cut out maybe covers of things yeah so there's just a lot that we can do plus they have these dancers so that might be fun in our journal page and then this was kind of cool it's an installation that they did um, for memorial day 
so um, it has birds. It's really pretty. So I could definitely use that in something too. So really cool at the library. Totally easy. And then these bookmarks I also get at the library. They have tons of them. So I could cut these up or um, make a little pocket out of them or something or a band on an art journal page. So those are great. And then I got this one in the mail. It's from DirecTV. I really love this image. I think it's really, really powerful and it'd be great on an art journal page. And I don't have to, like, I can alter it a little bit. Maybe like paint over her armor or cover her face with something or add eyes or something like that. I could alter it, but it's a really strong, beautiful portrait. And, you know, it was free, which is awesome. <laughs> And there's another bookmark that I have. And basically what happens is, is that this stuff is just going to get thrown away. I mean, they take it because they want you to have it and to use it and reference it. So I think that I don't feel bad about using it <laughs> at all. Like someone spent money to have these materials printed. And um, if there's a ton of them or if it's the end of the month, I'll just go up and ask, can I use like some of these for my art? And people are very, very nice and they let you do that. So this is a show that's coming to the Aurora Fox Theater. And I love this image of this person on the railway track. So I would totally cut that out. And then um, maybe I could even use the word or something like that. So very cool, very powerful image. And then this I got for King Supers. <laughs> So there's lots of great stuff in here. First of all, you could use the hamburger, right? That'd be great. Um, but we could use that image. We can maybe use the image of the people walking. That's a cute little guy. We can use him. So there's just a ton of things that we can do. That might be a cool pose on an art journal page. He's kind of cool looking. She's cool. She'd be great like on a half of a page and we could fussy cut her out, put something different in her hands. And I look for um, kind of things that I can use. So I could use Once Upon a Farm, right? That'd be great. The Power of Kids or The Power. I can use that maybe. This is kind of cool, the fun factor. And like, um, I don't know if anyone goes to like Kaiser, but they have great little magazines that you can totally use that have lots of wonderful images in them. Um, Super Summer, I could use that as a title. Plus I could cut out the water bottle and the cherry, and maybe I can add it to something um, that, that kind of fits my day or something like that. I like these bottles. And then I really like his stance too. So I could totally chop him off and have him like on the side of a page. Real delicious, that'd be great. Peanut butter jars, if I wanted to make like some disordered people or something, that might be a good base for them. I could cut out bananas, tennis shoes maybe. Maybe the bowl would be kind of cool, but just look through. And I think as you go through things and you look at them, it will inspire ideas for you. Like this little guy, I could definitely use. And that's cool with the watermelon on her head. I think that's totally cute. So I could use that. And you can cut off things and move them over on your art journal page. I mean, there's nothing that says that things need to be dead center. Or you can move things to the bottom or float them on the top, whatever you want. So there's lots of stuff in here that you can use. So I hope that I really got your brain thinking about um, just looking for ephemera and free images um, that you can get just from free materials that are all around you. This is a map of Aurora that I got again at the city and county of Aurora. Um, yeah, and it's a map of Aurora, so I could totally use that. So there's lots of fun stuff that we can do and we can use in our art. You don't have to just stick with buying, you know, scrapbooking paper or anything like that. Um, you can just really be creative and think of um, fun ways for you to use things that you already have. This is cool. Um, we did a lot of projects at the, at the library in the summer. So they have this kind of imagery here and I took a lot of pictures so I could do an art journal page with this image just to remind me of that summer. Um, but they do, they have little cute images like the goats story time, which I took my nephew to, that was pretty fun. And then butterflies and all sorts of stuff. They had an epic balloon fight. We went to the epic, like, um, it was like a sponge fight. It was pretty cool. And then like 
you can cut that and use that too. So just open your mind a little bit and see what you can use in your journal that's completely free. I also have this one too, and this might be the image that I'll use. I really love this. So um, it's really pretty. It has hands, and this is for my church, and then it has little, little tiny feet. And it's about the protection of life. So I really love that image. I think it's really pretty. So there's a ton of things that you could use. I could use this image. Um, that's Pope Francis, we, or John Paul II, because he came to Denver. So, <laughs> so there's been lots of celebrating going on. But there's a ton of things that I can use in here. Maybe help protect might be a good title for something. So yeah, really fun, interesting things. So I am going to put this together um, in a page and we will kind of see. I'm going to cut out some things. I'll show the process to you and um, I will come back at the end and we can talk about what I did and all that stuff and what things that I use. So keep watching. Wow. 